Good morning, good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. He's got Florida on his bib. Ah! <laughs> He's eating yogurt, some blueberries, some puffs. Evie's just waiting for some to drop. He may have Florida on his bib, but it is still a winter wonderland outside. But thankfully, it has stopped snowing. So we got up early today, but not as early. I think it was like five instead of 4.30, which was fine. Peter actually then, uh, James was up like really early, um, but I still got to read and do yoga. Peter read too, um, but he's gonna go to the gym later. Um, I have this clip of James enjoying Sword in the Stone. We got a pile of laundry over there. But James is into Sword in the Stone. But like really just the squirrel scenes. <laughs> he was a fan of everything else. He was kind of like interested in other stuff. He's been so go, go, go today. You can hear him. He was just taking out the shoes. But now he's going into the kitchen. Which for whatever reason today has been his, his place. So I guess I should go get him. So with me... Waking up a little bit later and James waking up a little bit earlier. I didn't get to edit this morning. So I'm sitting down to do that. And I'm having a little kombucha cocktail. It's pomegranate kombucha with cranberry juice. It's 12.46. Like the, the perk of James waking up earlier is that he's napping earlier. And he was like ready to go down. I guess last night when Peter said that James would go down easy for me soon. Like he was just being hopeful and said that. Um, he was right. So I'm gonna edit. Peter's got like three hours of meetings. So hopefully I can finish within this nap. Then maybe I can take a nap myself. Megan and Katie got Jamesy this book while they were here in Chicago and it is one of our favorites. He's up from his nap by the way. Touch the, touch the sound. You got to sit in my lap. Okay. okay. Press the sound. Not there. This one. Press it. Go to the kitchen. Yay! We didn't. We didn't like actually hit it that time. But after every time we we press one, we have to applause. Okay, let's do this one. Yay! Yay! it. All right, my work day is over. I'm hanging out with James while Sarah cooks. We got the Olympics on. Grant hooked us up with his Fubo TV account so we can watch the Olympics and all the good stuff. Women's U.S. hockey is going on. There's actually a player from our hometown, Evergreen Park, on the Women's U.S., which is pretty cool. Pretty pumped for the opening ceremony tomorrow. Um... You know, you just get extra prideful of your country or countries or hopeful future countries when the Olympics come by. It's just a very, like, humbling humanitarian thing, you know? Are you a hockey kid? Oh. Yeah, put that away. Yeah. Yeah, ah. Ah, they just said her name, Abby Murphy, age 19. Can you imagine being 19 in the Olympics? You got 18 years to get ready, James. Curling? All right, I feel like I've been talking about these Swedish meatballs forever. So, I got the oat milk. Funny enough, I realized that I don't have an egg replacement. Sorry, I've been eating bread. Um, I typically would use, like, the liquid from... A can of chickpeas, it's called aquafaba or make a flax egg. So I'm just going to have to use a real egg. So that's the only thing that won't be plant-based. 
the first step is to cube up three slices of bread and it's gonna sit in half a cup of milk for like 10 minutes. There we go. And while this sits, I'm gonna dice up and fry up some onions. Got my onion softened and now we're gonna add the rest of the meatball ingredients on in. So the recipe calls for a pound of beef and a pound of ground pork. Um, and I just have two pounds of impossible beef here, so that's what I'm using. And now I've added an egg, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half, no, a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, I only had cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, an eighth teaspoon of garlic powder, I put way more than that. I'm gonna add in these cool down onions and mix it up with my hands. We got plant-based meatballs going. I told them there's an egg in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about the egg. <laughs> a single egg. Hopefully it'll help. These kind of look a little gush. Well, I was going to say, why don't you see how this batch goes and then maybe add more breading if they get all fall apart. Fall party. Either way, even as, long as, as long as it's cooked, even if it falls apart, it's going to be delicious. I hope so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what? A lot. A few moments later. Okay, they look pretty good as I I flip them around. Not as nervous anymore. So while these meatballs are cooking up, I'm going to quarter some Brussels sprouts. I think to bake them, I'm just going to do olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic. And then look online for a Le Cellier like copycat recipe for their Brussels sprouts. They are so, so good. Um, but I'm at least going to get these going in the oven. I'm going to bake them at 450, probably half hour-ish. I hate saying that because that means like we're not going to eat for a half hour. But just be warned, this is kind of a lengthier um, cook with me. I should have, I should have prepped some of this earlier today. I did find a copycat recipe, so I whipped that up. I'm gonna bake the Brussels sprouts for like 20 minutes and then add this. It has maple syrup, it has bourbon, it has apple cider vinegar, paprika, but I will link the exact recipe that I used here. It's got the last of the meatballs going and I can officially start the sauce. I've also started water for pasta, which is what we're gonna serve it over. Um, but I do have to whip together a little vegan Worcestershire sauce. I can never say that word. Let me say that again. I am making vegan Worcestershire sauce. I can never say it. Worcestershire sauce. Um, they do make a vegan option. I think it has like anchovies in it or something fishy. Um, I love it and I haven't had it in a long time. So I made like basically a replacement for it. It's just a tablespoon in the sauce, it's not like a main ingredient. And it tastes all right. Um, it's pretty much like soy sauce base. So I just did that. I am now gonna take these last meatballs off and start the sauce. Look how pink my cheeks are. Okay, the sauce had a lot of stirring. I'm gonna turn off, sorry, the exhaust was on. Um, there was a lot of stirring involved with it being like, a roux based sauce. So I would suggest just following the recipe. I wasn't crazy about the little bit of sweetness. I cut it a little bit with an extra bit of soy sauce and then some bite, a, a little bit of extra apple cider vinegar, which it's kind of confusing because it was like a part of my fake Worcestershire sauce. How many times am I gonna say that? Um, and then I, bumped up the pepper and I like it now. So I'm going to add the meatballs back in. Our noodles are almost done. And so are our Brussels sprouts. Oh, look at these dishes. This is like gourmet delicious. Got the Olympics. James is ready. I also ordered this lingberry fruit spread to put on the meatballs. Pretty darn delicious. <laughs> that was a huge bite. Was it just a whole meatball? Yeah, but he, he knows how to use a fork. Oh, yeah, it was a lot. 
This is like a modern day enchanted. It's like a fairy tale. She could be. I have not, oh, not like watched that. The Office in a very long time. There's a child ready to play. Full belly and all. Wait a minute. A Disney World commercial just came on this fake cable. With extra time in any of the four theme parks every day. This is torture! Now you can save the rings. Why would you stay? <gasps> There's Crescent Lake! Torture. Okay. What do we think of dinner? It was one of the best dinners Sarah's ever made in her entire existence. I. Okay. I really need to figure out my skin. Look at how red my cheeks are. I. Wasn't crazy about it. I enjoyed it, but I'm somebody who doesn't like sweet potatoes. What's another example? Like, I don't like butternut squash soup or ravioli. Like, I don't like things that are sweet that are like typically savory. And I really like the jam on the meatballs. I like that little bit of nutmeg, that little bit of cinnamon. Just not my jam. But I feel like I could make it again without it and it would still be, I would like it better. And it would still be good. I feel like I used to do this shot a lot on the couch with you going out running from this angle. Yeah, but I would be going to run outside. Yeah. So I'm gonna trudge through sludge in these pajama pants to the gym. Goodbye, how long are you gonna be gone? Six months. Oh no! Take off a little bit. Say goodnight to your child. He's gonna be in bed. Chicago sludge. Chicago sludge. It's just, it's not getting warm enough to make it go away during the daytime. Here we go. Sludge, sludge, sludge. Cold. Rocking these into the gym. Okay. I feel for all delivery people. Our USPS was just delivered. That's how, I mean, it's, I didn't even say how, what time it is. It's almost nine o'clock and it just got delivered. It typically gets here like two or three in the afternoon. The snow, I even, and I even picked outside because my glasses are here and I'm gonna try them on. So I've been like actually trekking, checking the trekking and trying to be patient because I understand the craziness that's outside. Um, but I even just peeked outside to make sure they were gone before I went down there. And they're like full gear, headlamp, mask. <sighs> Big props. I wanna see if I can get Jamesy's reaction on camera to my new glasses. glasses for a long time. I think I think my glasses are under my bed. Got them smudged quick. Oi. What do you think? They're like they're super cat eye-ish. They're so different from what I had before. I had like round frames that were like super dark. What do we think? I feel like I should be on Grease, in the movie Grease. There we go. Got my six miles done. Ooh. <sighs> Brutal one. Whew. Like I said, it's hot in that Planet Fitness if you watched yesterday's vlog, so uh... Just walking home in the moccasins and the running shorts. Bittersweet thing with the mask, because... I don't like to wear them for long runs, but they keep me warm on the way home. And they're all sweaty and they get cold in the wind. Um, 
Anyway, I haven't found a training block, training plan. I'm in a crossroads of should I be training for a half marathon for proof of time, or should I just be uh, focusing everything on Squamish 50-50? I feel like I have to find a proper training. It's six months away, which is very, very close, but also very, very far. I need to find trails. I need to get used to running in rocks and sticks and hills and some altitude, even though we're in the Midwest. Um, so I need to figure that out. So like, I'm kind of just kind of winging my training right now. Going to Orange City tomorrow morning. So tomorrow won't be technically a run day, but then Saturday and Sunday will be a soft, long, soft run, long run. And we'll see. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on what I should do or where I should look. I signed up, signed up for Ultra Running Magazine and they've got some long distance training blocks, but I need to find a mix between that and trail. I don't know, maybe any trail runners out there, let me know. Should I, could I do like long distance prep for the next like four months and then the last like two months take some like, there's gotta be some weekend drives that I can take from Chicago to local is ish trails just to get like the footing down. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. Well, well, I come home and Miss Glasses McGee is just chilling here. I just got out here. Yeah, I saw the USPS workers outside just having a gas, like joking. I mean, like, I'm sure it's not a gas because it's like I 10 o'clock at night. I talked about them earlier that they were, like, I got these at like 9. They're having, like, at least they're like smiling through the pain of working in the snow and cold yeah. this late because they're having a good old, there's two of them out there just laughing working as a team james um wants these off my face oh he'll just have to get used to them <laughs> they, you've never had glasses like that before mm -mm. oh god he oh. stares so what do we think of my glasses i tried on other glasses at like the actual eye doctor and i want to talk more about ordering these online in a different vlog um i feel like the other ones like went with my eyebrow line better but i still like these oh. Do you like them? Yeah, I like always like your glasses because Sarah's eyes are so messed up. They're so thick. Yeah, it's kind of impressive. Yeah, like if you held those up to the sun, you could probably cut through steel, like 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 a beam would get created and it would zoom through because the metal. Because what we ate for dinner, it smells like Thanksgiving in our house. Like it smells like. I want to let you know, I saved those. Impossible meatballs that you put that sauce on, but ain't nobody's ever touching those again. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. And they were really good. It's just like one of those meals that just doesn't just age not well. <laughs> we know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>